still in front by a good margin there. Pre-11 o'clock here for the Midwest Modifieds. Another eight car set here in the first row. Number 15M car of Justin Madsen from Foxborough, Wisconsin. Next to him, 68K, Dan Kingsley out of Superior, Wisconsin. In the second row, the 13 of Chris Bredding out of Washburn, Wisconsin, alongside the 32 of Cody Superior. And in the third row, number 88, Tyler Luger out of Iron River, Wisconsin. Next to him, Mac Esty. That sounds familiar. It's because, yes, he, his brother's with Skeeter, also out of Kelly Lake, Minnesota. In the fourth row, the 69 of Justin Bass out of Hermantown, Minnesota, alongside the white 04 of Rick Peterson from Two Harbors, Minnesota, looking for sponsorship on that ride. It'll be inter interesting to see here if these guys kind of take the same approach conservative because it was evident in the first prelim. I'd imagine they will. That, that track looks, that's pretty rutted up and they don't want to take any chances and twist up their cars, at least not for not for a money spot, or for a non-money spot anyways. Right, not in these prelims. Maybe later in the features, but not right here as these guys will go around one more time here before we get underway, hopefully. I'd watch that 37 of Mac Esty. He's probably going to pull the same moves that his brother did, coming from sixth place up to, fr the, up to the front quick anyways. And, of course, last week Mac finished second just behind his brother. I would think he's looking for revenge here tonight. Oh, certainly, and they'll do it in the feature as these guys get ready to go. And there's the green flag here on heat number two with Midwest Modified Woo! here at Amso Speedway. I'm sorry, we're going to join alongside Chad Lyons for our second week, week of racing. Thanks so much for joining us. And we, it looks like we already got a car having some problems in the back, Chad. Yeah, the four looked, looked like it was almost out of control coming out of two pretty squirrely, but he was able to collect it. He's way in the back of the pack now, about five car lengths behind. And that's Rick Peterson, that four cars. You go around the seven laps to go. In the front spot there, 15 M of Justin Madsen behind him. Excuse me, now it's 37. Who? Mac As Esty. predicted, Mac Esty right up front really fast within one lap. He saw the prelim before and, and wanted to do the same there as Esty. Out in front of the rest of the crowd here. In the second spot, 68K of Dan Kingsley. And next to him, in the third spot, 15 M of Justin Madsen. These guys go with six laps to go. It still looks like the four car, Rick Peterson, really struggling down the, the stretch. Might have a bad setup or maybe possibly something broken. Something's not right with that car, that's for sure. Other than that, though, it, it's kind of unfolding like that first prelim heat was. The two and three are kind of staying in the same spot. Oh, it looks like the three, third spot is getting a little challenged. Justin Madsen getting challenged by the 13 of Chris Bredding. Either way, it's another SD. Out in front here as we go with four laps to go, and there goes Rick Peterson off to the pits here. And in the second spot, number 68K of Dan Kingsley followed behind him. In a tight race there, number 15 car of Justin Madsen. As those guys battle, three different guys, so four now, trying to battle for that third spot as we go. With just three laps left in this second heat of the Midwest Modified. Out in front, I guess that's his brother did back as he took a butt. Behind him, Dan Kingsley, the 68K. Third spot now finally being taken over there by the 88 car of Tyler Lugar. We haven't really said his name throughout, and he stuck his way to the, to the front. Oh, yeah. Starting back in the fifth position, Tyler moved up a couple spots under some fierce competition. The 15 amp of Justin Madsen's kind of fallen back as he's in the fourth position now. And the four car is pulled off into the pits. They're going to figure something out. As we go now, one lap remaining here on the second heat. Mac SD all over it. Second spot, Dan King the ball behind him. Number 88, Tyler Luger. As they finish up now, the checkered flag, and no surprise here. It'll go to SD here. The second heat in a row. Two SDs, two wins here in the prelims. In that second spot again, Dan Kingsley will take the second and the third spot in the 88 car of Tyler Luger. As those guys, not too many problems, but as we said, Rick Peterson, something funky going on throughout the race. Yeah, he, I don't know if he had the wrong setup. It looked like he didn't know what he was doing, but I, I'm fairly certain that's probably not the case. <laughs> <laughs> we hope he gets it fixed and maybe, maybe back to the future tonight. You never know. But another conservative heat. Nice and smooth, no wreckers, no yellows. That's a good thing. It certainly is, but these guys looking uh, like they're going slower than usual. And as we wait for the Superstocks to come out here, we'll take a quick break. We'll have more racing action coming up next.